I have good news and bad news for you guys about the Afghanistan war. The bad news is uh, the great number of deaths. Uh, we've actually finally reached 2,000 deaths in uh, Afghanistan, which is horrible. That's U.S. soldiers killed. Uh, in Iraq, it was 4,409, to give you a sense of perspective. And uh, in fact, uh, five more dead today, three Afghans and two U.S., uh, one a contractor and one a soldier. And it was yet another uh, attack by Afghan soldiers turning on us. We can't tell if it was just a disagreement or as happens often it was the Taliban planting those guys in there to turn on us. Uh, now let me give you more uh, perspective on the Afghanistan war. 17,644 have been wounded as well as the 2,000 dead you're seeing there. Uh, and 10,000 Afghan security forces have been killed and a minimum of 20,000 civilian deaths so it is really bad now what's the good news well it looks like we've had enough and we might even leave earlier than we said we would in 2014 now why do I say that well NATO's secretary secretary general gives me a couple of clues first he says quote from now until the end of 2014 you may see adaptation of our presence that means we're gonna change things our troops can redeploy take on other tasks or even withdraw or we can reduce the number of foreign troops that right there is huge saying that we might leave earlier basically but he's not done he continues from now until the end of 2014 we will see announcements of redeployments withdrawals or drawdown if the security situation allows I would not exclude the possibility that in certain areas you could accelerate the process in other words Whoever wants to stay, stay, stay. Whoever wants to run, run, run. We're done with this thing. We got to get out of here even before 2014. We are losing all uh, approval for this war at home. It is true in Europe. It's also true in the United States of America. In fact, the top American commander there, John Allen, General John Allen, also livid about what is happening with uh, Afghan troops turning on us. Watch. Well I'm, well, I'm mad as hell about them, to be honest with you. Um, we're going to get after this. Uh, it reverberates everywhere across the United States. You know, we're, we're willing to sacrifice a lot for this campaign, but we're not willing to be murdered for it. Well, I'm mad as hell about them, to be honest with you. Now, wait a minute. They're soldiers. They die all the time, and I, it makes me sick, and that's why I don't want to be there anymore. But him saying we're not willing to be murdered for it is a weird turn of phrase. And of course he's referring to this attack on, from Afghans onto NATO and US forces. And basically they're incredibly frustrated that the guys that we need to train up so we can leave are oftentimes hitting us in the back. He continues. Should Americans brace themselves for more attacks? Is this going to continue? It will. <clears throat> the enemy recognizes this as a vulnerability. You know, in, in Iraq, the signature weapon system that we hadn't seen before was the IED. We had to adjust to that. Here, I think the signature attack that we're beginning to see is going to be the insider attack. Well, the NATO Secretary General said that Commander John Allen's uh, point of view on this was very, very important, and uh, he might lead the process. Well, it looks like he's leading the process the hell out of there because uh, this is really destroying morale. Look, three things that those uh, insider attacks do. Number one, they sow distrust between us and the Afghan troops that we're trying to build up. That's really smart. Number two, it makes it much easier to hit our soldiers when you pretend to be an Afghan soldier and then we give them a weapon and they're sitting right next to us. And number three, it destroys morale because we think, what are we training these guys up for if they turn around and murder us, as General John Allen just said. So it, the American people being fed up with this war wasn't enough. That, that oftentimes politicians, generals, defense contractors, etc., don't give a damn about that. The European people being fed up has more of an effect because they have a slightly different political system that is not as corrupted as the American system. Okay, but when even the top generals say, hey, you know what? I don't know what we're doing here. We're sitting ducks and all we're doing is getting murdered. You can sense the frustration and I think they've gotten to a point where they realize we're not going to quote unquote win. We don't even know what winning means. 
This is counterproductive. It's not helping our cause. We already got bin Laden. There's less than 50 Al Qaeda in Afghanistan. It's time to pack up and go home. So as disastrous as this war has been, the good news is it looks like there's some chance it might end earlier than we suspected, which would be terrific.